Hello everybody, welcome to another day of Cosmeteer. In this particular episode, we're going to show a few things that Unexcited has showed me, or at least informed me. Uh, and some other commenters has also, also showed me that you can come over here and you can right click on my ships and you can go new folder. And in this case, I'm going to literally say, uh, uh, tiny shipyard. He gave me this idea, shipyard, tiny shipyard. And what we're going to do with tiny shipyard in here is we're going to start putting in all those ships that I'm helping other people or going through with people working through. So I don't actually mix up all these other ships as well as Trilobite or is Trilobite. Trilobite. I wonder if I can select multiples. Holding shift key down. The answer is no. I'm just going to take the latest version and put it in tiny shipyard. There we go. And then I'll, I'll figure out what to do with those other ones. And then there was also that uh, hyper beacon one, hyper beacon right here. There's another one, and there was also that scout one. And there's a scout one. So now that we got all these ships in here, and now they're separated from from my ships, and then I can just save them in here and work on them. So uh, that was kind of a neat thing as well. Now the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to show uh, because it was mentioned to me because I didn't understand the full reason behind it is this particular scout ship. So the scout ship, I do want to actually make one change because there's an extra door right there. And I'm actually thinking instead of doing... Eh, let me do this. Do this, do this. Remove that. Move these doors in like this. And then you actually can save just a tiny bit more space. And this can actually be in, and then this one can be... facing... like that. And that should work just like that. Should, in theory. Let me see. I should actually increase its speed just a tiny bit more. It did! 170, alright. So, with increasing its speed just that tiny bit more, and you can see they go in, they go in, and they do their thing with that. So now we just have a little bit more speed. So, with this, uh, what he was using, and I'll explain it because I didn't understand it fully. The sensor scout, so say for example you're in a map, and you're one of those people that want to complete the entire map. With a little scout sensor array like this, you can go out and find all the undiscoverables. So that was the whole purpose of this. He has another ship that also already has a hyper beacon on it. But this one right here was specifically made to go and go around and be able to discover all the indescribables. So it's one of these super fast ships that can just fly around and just scatter around. So I can see the huge use for this for just a 12 man crew. And that's the speed that it goes at 170, which is really, really cool. So I'm actually going to save this ship right here and save it right over the other one. And then what I want to do here is I do want to bring in another... I want to fix that other one. Uh, a tiny shipyard. Oh, cool. That's really neat. I like it. Then this one right here, I want to edit this one as well. Because I was just thinking about it. You can actually reduce the weight just a tiny bit more. By literally taking away this, taking away that. Adding in another door here and another door here. And changing this one to face... Like that. Let me get rid of this extra door. And that will increase it just a little bit more, taking away a little bit more weight. And that should work. And that's the perfect amount of command points and everything. So it literally, now you have a hyper beacon and a scout. How fast does this hyper beacon one fly? Now that we've reduced just the weight, just a tiny bit more. 166.9. It's still really fast. And if anybody's concerned about this turning ability, it can easily just turn itself around. And it can even do a tiny bit of semi like strafing because of how it is. It just goes in a weird type of angles. So there's no problem with it at all with moving around. This movement is just fully capable to do whatever it needs to do. So now that was this ship right here. Really neat. I like it. I like both of them. I'm actually gonna say both of these. And I am totally going to use these in gameplay in the future after episode in around 32 when we get to there i'm totally definitely going to use those so those are those ships right there i haven't fully actually started working on this ship yet but i plan to look at it and i was already thinking of ideas i know i just put two of the same ship in there but the first things that i do want to actually change here 
is something like that. I want to change this. This should be, should have, and then they should, should honestly, I'm thinking something like this, and then this should move out some more, and then, so we can actually do this. I'm, t I'm just going to change the, I'm just going to change it to what I think it should be. I know I just tossed out some crew, but that's okay. And then I want to layer stack this out the way I want. We'll layer stack this entire armor. And then this right here should be layer stack, layer stacked. Layer stacked. That's good that way. And then this one should also be at least like this. No, I did it wrong. Like that. And then there's that one. And then this one should be cross section like this. Like that. And then we'll put a single one just like that. There. Now the layers stack like bricks a lot better. And I'll prove that. Now let's fix these doors. So we have a door here. We don't have a door here. Closer to the inner. We have a door here, door here. Closer to the inner. You don't need a double door here. You get door in, door in, door out. Okay, it's double doors for that one. Door here, door here, door here. Just doesn't... Eh, we'll leave it. Then we have in and then in out. And then what we need here is we just probably should do something like this. You know, it looks a little goofy. And you have all this protection here and you have this protection here. And then this should be up, down. Mm, might as well make things faster. In, 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 like this, and they come up like that. And then that would go in this way, and then we have a uh, back and a back. It goes in across up and goes down. Comes up back down, and then have a lot of entry points in and out from that one. Now that should improve the front of armor significantly. And then this right here can actually move closer to this, so they have it closer to that end right there. And then you can add more armor here if you're having trouble with that. And then you have this this right here. And this should actually be closer, I feel. And then armor behind it. And then add a door here. And you have in and out, and you can have in and out like that. And then we need to fix you need to fix you need to fix that. Put this down and down. I know he has fire, but you can do the fire extinguishers a little bit later. And then literally add a cross section right here so that they can do. Uh, I'm thinking this should be a corridor. Now, the thing with these doors, too, you see the door, they should only be on the corners. A little too many doors. Just on the corners, plenty. Uh, don't, that's just one side. So it's, that should, because then, then they don't have to walk here and then walk this way or walk in and out or anything like that. They just enter the corner and then leave the corner. That's probably the best way for these, like this right here. This should be corner, this should be corner, and this should be a corner, corner, and this should be a corner, corner. And for this door right here, you just put them on the corners, so they're in and out, just like that. And then they literally will come in, come out, come in, come out. Now these doors, it, it, maybe people don't think of it that way, but the closer you are to the power plant, the actual better. So whatever the fastest path to them is, if this is going down, this should be down. It saves one extra step. Because this is closer to the power plant. Same thing like this. If Well, this is going up. So they literally have to walk out to come here down like this. So if this is up, I would personally reverse it just so that they're faster because they're sitting in bunkers. So personally, to make this just a little bit faster, this should be down. And this should be up. Because people sit in the bunkers, and then you move the doors down, because that's faster access to your power plant. So they come down, and they come here, and they enter in here. Now here's the thing, is they don't have another walkway going up, so they have to enter here, and they have to come out and walk all the way across to go back up if they're going to go for the top of the ship. So that's something to think about, too. 
personally i would move this whole section right here down and add a crossway back and forth through here to speed up the back of the ship that's that's i was just just gonna do that just do that copy and move the whole thing down like that and then come over here and i would have this go inward and this go outward and then if you wanted to speed up you could literally take out this like this and then they have that walkway where they can just walk straight across and then this is like that and then this is this way so then these people come down come up and they can go up this way and they come down and then this one this way so this is almost a circle yeah that, there's the circle right there okay and then this one should be down down up and up and up like this and like that and then they have access to right here i would i know he wanted to armor this up more because they're pointing at that but if you're around the power plant people need to walk around it just a little bit more so huh I would, I would do this. I would do at least this. Oops. That's what I would do. I would move this here like this, like that. Now they can go in and out, in and out, in and out. So that's pretty good. This has a lot of doors. A little too many doors. And then right here, let's, why does this have so many doors? Uh, I would just, I would just do something like this. And door, 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 and that goes like this, 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 like that. I can see there may be reasons to have lots of doors like that. So not really, cause that's just the ammo right there. And then just having four doors there, that's, that's good enough. You can have the doors like that if you want to enter that way. The back door's there. I don't really see a need for that many back doors. That could save you on some cost there. Keep that up front there. This is a little door. You should always put doors on the corner as best. Well, if, I guess the enter's in like straight like that if you wanted. And then door here. And then this is a lot of doors. And that's a lot of doors. Keep it closer to... If down's the way they're going to access, so we'll come down. Door here, and we'll get rid of this door, and then... That's a lot of doors, too. So that they're probably going to enter in this way like this, and that's a lot of doors like that. And then this is definitely too many doors. And enter in, enter out. Okay, that's good. I see this coming in like this. This is a little too many doors. This is a little too many doors. Enter in and around. That's you only need one door. That's a lot of doors. And downward. Down, 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 in, in. Well, I don't know what this door is here for. That door's for there. Okay. Get rid of some of these doors. This right here. And just have a corner door. Come in like that. Door, 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 door. I can see how these are attached. I would probably move this one to here. Door in. That's a lot more doors. So I probably would get rid of that. And just at least those ones. Get rid of these. And I would get rid of that one. So the sulfur is the one that matters. They come in this way. This is too many doors here. Just need one, one more rock walk way across like that. And then that's got a lot of doors too. No reason for that one or that one. Or that one. So just fix a bunch of stuff right there. And now you, you cut on costs. You literally make 10,000 back. Here right here, you could probably optimize this a little bit better too. Uh, straight for engine rooms and stuff. So you can move. You can see an extra door right there. When move storage 
I would move the storage here and move the storage here. And then literally add a walkway to walk, go straight to the engine room. And then you don't even need this power capacitor here for these engines. Because they can come straight for that. So let me actually just, what kind of storage is this? What is Hyperium and Enrich Uranium? Uh, okay. And then these guys right here. Red Church. Okay. Uh, I would change that. I see the hatchet down there. I would make this. Let's just double it. Change it just like that. And then I would come over here and I would get rid of this. Get rid of this. And then this. I know that's a big large storage right there. But you should probably. I would. I would probably do this. And I would take this. And I would shrink that down just like that. And then this way you have. Literally a round circle. And then I'll take away just that one door right there. And then this would be the same. Be just like that and then what you can do here for defense is you can put the fire extinguisher right there and then this right here can be a fire extinguisher because that's where their finger extinguisher is going to be mostly wanted is for the actual deck cannon itself well if you're worried about it you can just do it like this now we can move things around just like that in and out in and out this one comes here like this that one goes up like that this one comes in here opens that one Come out, come back. I can see right here. Make that just that way, like that. And then when they come down, 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 in, in that way. Out. Out, up, and, and then go about again. So that should help that way, like that. Should help this way, like that. We didn't really fix this part right here. Let me come in and come out. Uh, there's a few other things I need to definitely change. This is like that. This has way too many doors. I guess it's closer to the bottom one. It's the bottom of the ship. That's got a lot of doors there. Or if you wanted to do it like this, you could just take away like that. Keep just the double doors just like that. And that's in out, in out, in out, in out, in out, in out. Lots of access points there. Lots of access points there. I know I got rid of a lot of the fire extinguishers up front. Let's not take away from the armor capabilities. Let's toss in one of these, one of those. So we got fire extinguishers in the front of the ship. Got this right there. Might as well have fire extinguishers near the cannons. Because those are what can light fires. This is interesting that they has that there. Just leave it for now. And you can sell. Okay. Let's work on the power here. So you right here. Just watch. And this right here, you should be dedicated to these three. This one right here should be dedicated to these three and this four. This one right here should be dedicated to these three and that four. And then energy power. And you should be dedicated to a fourth one back there as needed. You should also be dedicated to that one. And this one should be dedicated to that one. And just to help support them. There. That way those are supporting those. Those are the side ones, that way we're triple supporting those. 
That one's dedicated to that one. Now this one right here. Uh, let's cancel, cancel that one. You should be dedicated to this and this to help support that. So they come out and help support this one right here, as well as supporting the side ones. There we go. It should help the front of the ship. Now I know I changed this in the back here. You should be dedicated to these. They're dedicated to that. I messed up this supply chain, so we'll make it look better. Pretty sure this was a rich uranium here. I'm pretty sure this was Hyperium. Okay, and that's all so far. So that's still good there. We just moved all that. So you have a whole bunch of those just like that. It's better. Let's go to version 3. Let's see how... Let's see how version 3 does. Now I know we definitely also lost some crew. But there was a lot of crew in that ship. But you can still place them back in. I probably should change this extra. There's an extra space right there. I see it. But I just want to see how this performs now. Now that we change the frontal armor. And we're just watching it. Oh, I need to fix. I need to fix. Hold up. I need to fix. I need to fix power. Because you see this? This is not powering. Those. They're not supplying power to those. So, obviously that would not work. Let's resave that. So I want to make sure the shields in the front work the way they're supposed to. Okay, now you should be supplying power to all that. Yeah, that should be better. Let's see how this works. That's a lot of armor to get through. Running back, back and back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, there's nobody running to get power to supply that. Okay, everybody is out and about. I see that. But we have no dedicated runners to just power. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Has more crew. Has less crew. But we're gonna optimize it and fix this. Hold on. Let's fix this. Let's add a new role. Let's gonna call these guys capacitors. Energy. Can't spell today. Capacitors. Ah, it's probably still spelled wrong. Energy. Just call them energy. All right, you guys are going to be responsible for supplying the battery to power capacitors. And we're going to take these green shirts right here. <laughs> um downtown nobody's close enough to this one to make it so I'm, they're just dedicated for that but i'm going to take you two we're going to say you are dedicated to that was definitely that one both of them both of them are definitely dedicated to this one this one and this one the front of the shields and then as needed for this and this. And then we'll never just wait. We'll worry about the front of the ship. Let's see how that does. Four. Point four. Okay, they're not. They're fix that roll. You guys are doing too many other things, huh? <laughs> you 
can just be a nine. Turn off everything else. You guys are only supposed to be dedicated to power. You know what? I don't even want you guys worry about the shields. We'll turn that off for now. Prepare all. Prepare all. Save the ship. Retry this. I don't expect these shields to go down. Not with the amount of crew that's out here. Okay, now they should come out. They should grab power. I should run to these. And supply just power. Supply power, and those other guys should come here, and they should. Okay, those right there are sucking too much power. This part's holding up decent. I don't want them dedicated to these two. I need another crew for that. The front's doing better. You see how they're dedicated to power? Much better. I need to take them off those U2 shirts right here. I don't want to dedicate that or that. Your focus is just for another ship. Because as long as those have power, so they would hold up against this. You see how they did it much better? So let's, here. Let me show you. Save the ship to time again. Now that we changed it. You know, watch the front of the ship will not go down. It should not go down. Not with them constantly supplying. And this is just two. We should probably add even a third crew. I'm gonna add a third crew. But they're not going to be signing. They're going to just run around to do whatever. Just for power. Okay, so these 12 guys are just taking it to the front of the ship. And I need to supply this one too, but they're not. But they are supplying the middle, which is the most important. We lost this part because they were so focused on this one. So there might be more people that need to be dedicated just to capacitors. I'm gonna say this team right here will be dedicated to this, this, and this. Keep on the front of the ship. Now, I know I'm not really watching that other ship, but you see how the front, we haven't lost the front yet. That's the goal. There should be so much energy pumped into the front that you should never even have to worry about losing the front against each other. You see how this one's just getting demolished? And the front? It's still surviving. Obviously, I changed a few more things. Let's. Then I know this ship's gonna win in the long run. They already did. Just change it, and I have less crew and everything. So just, just a few changes. Let me save this ship. To time. We'll go to one point. We'll go to one point five. I've already made a lot of changes to it. All right, let's take one point five. And let's look at this. All right. So, I know we have less crew, but we're trying to do more with less. So, that's that, that's that, that's that. I have these guys running around here. I know he had more crew. I mean, if we wanted to... Oh, yes, I didn't fix this either. I didn't fix this fire extinguisher back here. And then there's this empty space for whatever reason. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know what this is for. What's that for? Dead weight? Getting rid of it for right this second. Let's figure out what it's for. Maybe it was a painted design. Uh, yeah. And why not? 
We have enough people for energy. Okay, we'll do one more crew. So these these teams right here are dedicated to that to that. You know what? No. You should be dedicated to the sites. And take you off from this one. And then you're just not dedicated at all. You're dedicated to the sites. You're dedicated to all three. And you're dedicated to... Like that. Now we have a lot of dedication. Save that ship design. Restart the battle. Go for it. Let's see how this does. Now they're gonna run out. They're gonna do their thing. I'm gonna fix these rolls just a little bit more because I didn't finish doing it. Two of those. I don't even want you to come in. I don't want you doing any of that. Gather resources. Uh, at least down a priority. Ten for that for sure. lost most of the front of the ship so that is important to know let's repair all let's resave this let's check this again I'm gonna fix those crew I want to need to watch what they're doing come out they grab power they go back up Some of these guys are just sitting there. None of red shirts in the front of the ship. I don't like how they're crossing here. There should be a back and forth between here to go up and down. Too many green shirts. Too many green. Not enough crew on the front. So let's redo that. Take this right here. You go back to a red shirt. And there's a green right here. Oh, take take the crew dedication off this one you will still be dedicated as a red shirt though and you guys will be dedicated to the front run the ship like that okay now let's fix this right here and this walkway right here this should be Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Up. Down. This is not gonna work that way. I mean, they're gonna go left. This just circles around like that. Now they can go a little bit faster back to here. That comes here like that. Okay. Extra door, extra door. Actually, it should be like this. That's how it's getting its power, anyways. Six. 
1.6. Restart this battle. I know I'm facing it when it's 1.2, but... I want to see... that one for you right there I just see it see how they're going wrong this should be down yep all right Let's fix that tiny little thing all right try this again rededicated power we did it so now this is also supplying the front shields too See how this plays out. So initial burst. All shields are still up. And they should also still be grabbing for power of the here too. Coming back up. Resupply, resupply, resupply. <laughs> it should be to a point where you shouldn't lose any anything up here even with disruptors firing at you it should be so heavily protected you shouldn't lose anything in the front and we even still have crew sitting here now doing nothing but you see and not losing anything this ship gone. That's what you want. Like a frontal shield that's just like so well defined that nothing can stop its front for facing each other at the current moment of time. Okay, now comes the real challenge. Let's take a 1.6 first a 1.6. start. There's nobody dedicated to it. So that's not right. There you go. Back to the way you had it. Push the back of the ship a little bit. Is that supply right? That's supply. That's like that. That's like that. That's like that. That's something like this. Sorry, I didn't check the back of the ship. I already know the front of the ship's doing good, so. so next week, okay, this. To that. So this one's not firing as often without the power. So this. Because this is not there, this one should not be. Uh, this one should be supporting this one. There's no way across. That's not good. This should be a... This should be this. Okay, a solid, solid. Okay, there's a little bit of armor there. Okay, facing each other, they're doing... Well, yeah expecting it because when you have constant fire it'll last a lot longer I gotta save this ship 
Right, 1.7 already. Okay. Now we need to get a 1.7 and above to be the 1.6. So. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing. 1.7? 1.7? 1.7 costs that much more? Why does a 1.7 cost one, that much more? Oh, because of all this. The materials make it very expensive for the materials that are in it. Got it. That's why it's so expensive. Alright, watch in the front, watch in the front. And we use all the crew. So we could, we can definitely add more crew in. These guys are still walking across this thing to get to. It needs to be fixed. Back of the ship's doing its thing, front of the ship's doing its thing. Okay, at this point it needs... You need to optimize this and optimize... Like this is crew walking and doing... Let's do... Du, 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 du. I know these are sulfur, so... Sulfur is just for sulfur cushion. We'll do this like this. Just like this at least. And then this is... Now this can supply that just like that. You can do it at that door. And that door and this door could be like this, like that. Now that's better. That's definitely better. And then... We might as well take these resource collectors and put them like something like that. No, then I still have to walk across the resource collector. I don't want to. That frees up this right here. This could move back more, giving it a little bit more protection from the frontal assault. And or add in more crew if you want it to look like that. But this gives them more open so they can come in and out, in and out, in and out. I think this right here should be at least a circle going around itself. And that's probably going to be need to open just in case people need to go in and out. They come down, come down, go around. Let's just circle around that, and this goes around like that, and this same thing. They can go around as needed. But what if they need to come back up, come down here? Because this is going down. This is down twice. So that doesn't work for right here. Left, right, okay. And left, and then they can get into that one. So left, left, they go to that one. This one, uh... Let's move you down there. Okay, this, this is here like this. So this can supply that, so they're not running and doing who knows what. This should speed up this way. This should speed up this way. And that literally should speed up like this. They enter in. And they can speed back up. So, yeah. Straight to it. And then out. And like this. That's like that. That's like that. And then fix this. Fix this like this. And then this needs to be. I now have a double. Oops. Okay. 
And then this can be... It's already so close. Power that as well. I need you to power this as well. And... Powering this, powering this, powering this, then coming in and powering this, then powering this. Okay. 1.8 Power Ranger. Okay. Let's see how this does. I know I got rid of some sulfur caches. We'll find some other places to put them. Right now, optimizing defense and damage. Make sure no one's walking to another thing. To another thing, to another thing. That's a choke point right here. I'm watching it. Slows them down a couple milliseconds. At least they're going this way like that. They're doing that. Okay, that's doing that. Nobody's gummed up here at least, so they're not queued away. Already lost this section. As long as this stays hold true, because we have the crew, because we freed up crew from doing other tasks. From the gun up here and gun up here. So now you see more people are here. lost its command because it took away the armor and other things so 1.6 is doing better let's figure where I failed reduce the armor right there doesn't need the armor for right there so this can be put back there this can be put back put that back there uh, I need to fix this right here. This is up. In fact, fix that. That way they come in, come out. Yeah. Ah. Let's watch that now. As they come in, come in. Those should be reversed if they keep coming down like that. They come down. Go across, come in, come out. I was still walking across this thing. The back of the ship looks fine. It's the front of the ship that's having problems. Shields are down. It's a weak point right here. They're aiming right at this.
still one, but by here. Alright. Just want to showcase it. I know I've been doing this for a while. Let's go past the two. The original. So, 220 crew. I already made it cheaper by a tiny bit. But that's also because I, I got rid of storage. Because he has so much more... He's got much more sulfur cash. I know I got rid of some sulfur caches. To increase his speed and utilization. We also have less crew. So, to get it back to 220 crew, we can do that. I just want to see... ship. I was looking at the back of the ship. Back of the ship. Front of the ship. Nothing can replace crew. Did win. But all right. Do 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 do. Crew 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 crew. ship doesn't have Interesting design. Eee, but 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 Closer to the power. like that. 2.0 versus 1.6. Tiny bit more crew, a little bit less armor. It's okay. door. It's door. This should be just armor. This door should be here. This should just be armor. Air stack this this way. Oh, didn't do it for both sides. Go back to 1.6. Maybe this 
adding this walkways here, moving these around. Or is it because I didn't dedicate those again? That's dedicated like that, that's dedicated like that. That was 1.6. That's like that, that's like that. Okay, because they have power here like this. Like, you know, like that. Okay, maybe it's because the power... Oh, 1.6. Let's come back here and let's rededicate this. So you take away that. Save, zip design, we'll just save it as 2.0 right now. Let's redo this. 202, more crew, 196, cost more. Let's see how this goes. This one here, like that. This should be actually be back one because they're moving up a still. Yeah, if it's back one, then they can walk right across and move this door down. This door should be here. This should be here. The fire extinguisher should be here this up same thing like here this should be here there should be a fire extinguisher here and there should be armor here and we can take away one of those doors I need to save it try that again I walk straight across. Walk straight across. Yep. Dang. I want this walkway to go this way and this walkway to go that way. Again in here, and they don't. Hours and hours of watching you play, do what it needs to do, but for some reason 1.6 is better. In its own way, 1.6 is better, so. One point six verse original. Oh, 
1.6 has these back here walk up to here to get that get these guys walking all around It's just doing good. Front of the ship's doing good. I have a few fires. Put the fires out. Stick with 1.6. No shields down. They are stacked. Armor good. Everything else is good. It's doing what it needs to do. We'll mess with 1.6 some more. Need to run. All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here for this build session. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to smash the like button, leave me a comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. If you want to subscribe and get notified, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you don't want to subscribe, that's okay. Come back once a week, once a month. Check out what content I have. Thank you all for being here, and you all have a wonderful rest of your day.